Ayo, hey fellas, how's it going? And welcome back to Bee Swarm. Fellas, we are back in the test room, and as you can see, it is it is Christmas time. Ah, yes. Beesmas has finally entered the test room. And I also just realized there's a, there's a Santa hat right there on the bee. That, that's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm not exactly sure when the game got updated. All I know is that pretty recently, it just turned into Beesmas, and there's a few new additions. But today, fellas, we are checking out the final endgame equip for blue. Last time I checked out the Dark Scythe for red, and today we're checking out the Tide Popper for blue. We're also going to be checking out the contest today, because last time I was supposed to do it, but then I completely forgot about it, so we're doing it now. And I said I was going to do the contest for red, but like... I'm switching to blue. I already got my blue hive set up. Like, look at this over here. E, I got all this. Um, no. But, like, I already got all these guys, man. I, I feel like, you know, might as well just switch to blue. I can't be bothered, like, changing out my hive and the amulets again just to be red for a contest that I'm probably not even going to participate in. So, we're, we're going to be blue, all right? Hey, sup guys, it's me, and this is the part of the video where I ask you to smash like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. It doesn't take long at all, and it really helps me out a lot. You gotta be part of the small percentage of people who are actually subscribed. We are officially less than a hundred subscribers away from reaching 6k, so let's keep going, fellas. It's almost Beesmas. So close, yet so far. Gonna be honest, I wish it was a little bit farther away, because now I gotta instantly do more Beeswarm episodes, instead of having a break to make regular videos. But it's fine, guys, it's fine. It's not like I'll have bees on demand for my entire life now. But I have, you know, once again, I said this for the past, like, two Beeswarm episodes, just because I cannot stress this enough. Go, go check out my, my Five Nights at Fongo's videos. They, they should start to come out. I already made one. Uh, the second one should come out maybe a little bit after this video in a few days. But I know those videos are going to be, like, really good, so just look out for those in the future. Or just any different things I upload, actually. Because I know my Beeswarm videos get a lot more views than normal. So if you're seeing this, then give my, give my other videos a chance, alright? Because some of them are even better than my Beeswarm episodes. I know, right? Crazy. Oh, no. Something might be better than Beeswarm? That's just unheard of, man. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. With that all being said, enjoy the video. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's get this thing. The Tide Popper. Uh, yep, there we go. Look at this. It's like a, it's like a big old spear with some some tiny balls. Of course, not as not as big balls as uh, you know the gummy baller. Of course, you know casual white players. We we got the biggest balls in the universe. Look at that guy over there. He has big balls. Me, I got I got little balls over here because I'm a I'm a blue player. And red players, they got no balls, none. But yeah, check it out. It's a uh, it's it's a thingy. Look at this. It's like a it's it, it looks like a Tesla coil. I'm gonna be honest. Like you know from like Clash of Clans, like that Tesla. It it it's just straight up looks like that. I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah, it's uh it's pretty cool. I I like the glowing balls around it. That's that's pretty nice. Should we go? Uh, should we talk to this guy? I'm noticing he's a lot smaller than usual. Uh, what what happened to you, man? You were like maybe my height at first, but now you're like literally like an inch tall. Hey, you know what? Check it out. The difference between being six foot and five foot eleven. Truly a sad moment in society, but uh, hello, hello, how are you doing, sir? I, I can't even see you. My, my thing is just in the way right now. Stats reset, and we're doing a small contest, you see, you see? Choose your team, red, blue, or white. Compete to get onto your team's top honeymaker leaderboard, you see, you see? Top 100 on each board when Beastmas releases will win a small prize in the main game, you see, you see? The team with the most honey made will also get a small bonus. Every team's top 100 honeymakers, 5 loaded dice, 25 jelly beans, at least 10 micro converters, and at least 50 tickets. 25 micros and 500 tickets for number one. Top 100 players on the winning team, color, 5 smooth dice and 25 jelly beans, you see, you see? Which team do you want to be on, you see, you see? I, I guess I'll be blue. Join blue team. Sure, why not? Okay then, you're on the blue team. I'll give you the blue stuff to get you started, you see, you see? You can generate amulets and change your collector with the boxes near the 20B gate, you see, you see? Trying to make enough honey to get on the blue team top honey makers leaderboard behind me, you see, you see? Go, 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 no, 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 no! Alright, cool. Um, oh my god, that is a lot of stuff. Wait, so I actually get things then. That's, that's great. I was wondering where, where I would, I would get all this stuff, but okay. Yes, yeah, at first I was kind of wondering how to get the diamond mask because before I started recording, I went to go claim it already so I could just have it before I started making the video. But, uh, it costs like 7 billion pronged cogs. So like, I was, I was wondering how I get it, but I guess, I guess you gotta choose a team. And wait, I get my 50th hive slot. Let's go. Finally. I didn't have to buy it, I guess. God, god damn it. Okay. 
Looks like I just wasted like about two quadrillion honey on hive slots. That's that's pretty awesome. Even though I didn't even need to. Oh, right. I'm just gonna fix my hive really quickly. Give me a second. And there we go. Alrighty, cool. So yeah, this is the hive I'm currently rocking out. I, I don't know if this is the best hive. I looked at an SD mittens video for two seconds and just copied pretty much what I saw down. So yeah. All right, so let's see, what did I get? Um, I got 25 hive slots. So yeah, it turns out I didn't actually have to buy the 24 hive slots. 1,000 stingers, 10,000 gumdrops, 10 super smoothies, one beep whip case, beep whip case slots, uh, micro converters, atomic treats, world waxes, festive wreath, a bunch of, uh, just, just, a, just a bunch of these things. Oh, I got the test planters. Let's go. I was wondering where I was supposed to get them because last time I think I mentioned like MA used the test planters or something and I didn't have them. So I was very confused, but that's because I was stupid and did not actually claim the contest yet. All right. Do I really want to give my bees mutations right now though? Not really. I, I cannot be bothered. I'll just start off with these, I guess. All right, uh, so before I check out like this Tide Popper thing, I want to check out some of the new stuff added to the test realm because there's been a few new additions along with the Beastmas update. I don't think there's like anything actually like Beastmas related in here yet besides like just the map change, but a few things got altered on the map. For example, over here is like probably the bigger changes. For some reason, the honeybees like little, little mountain cliff over here has been like extended. So now there's like an actual kind of big mountain around here, which is pretty cool. I don't know why, but like it's, it's here. So that's, that's cool, I guess. Maybe on it plans on adding something for like the Beastmas update. I don't know. I don't believe there's anything in here. Probably not. Uh, nope. I still, I, I want to know what this is, by the way. This has been here for like the longest time and I still don't know what that's going to be for. It intrigues me, man. It intrigues me. I look at the glass wall and I go, hmm, if only, if only I could walk through it. The amount of secrets that it holds. But also over here next to the rose field, there's just like a little, little area over here now for some reason. I don't exactly know why, but it's, it's just here. And there's also some loaded dice over there for some reason. I, I don't know. Kind of, kind of pointless right now, but still kind of cool. We are slowly getting an expansion to the map, guys. That's all I care about. Also, if my eyes weren't deceiving me, I believe there's, yeah, there's something over there now. I'm pretty sure I talked about this before, but there was supposed to be like a little, little extension or like area over there next to the stump field. And every single time I checked it out, it wasn't there for some reason, even though other people were getting like screenshots of it somehow. I, I still don't get how that happened, but all right. I guess now it's actually in the test realm for everybody. So that's, that's cool. So we'll go, we'll go check that out in a little, little second. Hey, look at that. It's a, uh, it's a uh, gifted frog over here. I kind of saw that a while ago, but I didn't really get a good look at it. But here, here it is. It's a, uh, it's a little, little happy boy. I don't, I don't really know what it does. Um, it's, it's just like, it's just hopping around, man. I'm getting something right now. Tide power. 1.12 times collector tool speed. Huh? So that's, that's from the, the actual like equip, right? Okay. I'll, I'll check that in a second. I want to see this first. I haven't been able to yet. So now I finally get to check it out. I don't think there's really anything here, but this is where like the new area is going to be for like all the b equip stuff. And I think this is also where the NPC is going to be because like I think this like big box over here is supposed to be like the shop or something. So uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. That's that's it, though. <laughs> that's all that area is now. I think we're probably going to see what that actually is, though, when the Beastmas update does come out, I think. I really hope it's not in Beastmas part two. That would kind of suck. Because I think in Beastmas Part 2, that's when we're getting the new... It was either the backpacks or the guards. I don't remember. But, like, all I know is some equips are delayed. All we're guaranteed on getting is just, like, the collectors. But I'm not sure about the backpacks yet. He hasn't even started testing them, so I, I don't know. Definitely not the guards, though, until the next, next update comes out. So I guess Beastmas Part 2. Anyway, though, uh, there has been an extension to the Red HQ over here. This is for, like, the elite stuff. So now there's a there's a big old door over here that says, Complete 250 Red HQ to enter. No one is going to do that on the test run, but that's still pretty cool either way. I wonder, can we still do that little, little wacky little glitch? Oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Let me see. No, I, I can't, I can't see quite what's in there. Let me see. I feel like I'm so close to being able to see what's actually in there, but I, I, I can't. I, I can't, uh, uh, okay, I give up, screw that, man. I'm not sure if there's anything added in there. Probably no one will find out until the actual Beastmas update does come out. Because if you're actually gullible enough to complete 250 Riley B quests in the test realm and not in the main game, you're kind of weird for that, man. I'm a, I'm a be honest. Bro, that'd be such like a no life move right there. And it's just gonna get reset one day. So there's like no point. 
I think that's pretty much everything though. Everything that was added to the, the test realm, at least for like slightly new areas and like map changes, I think. Just like the Rose Field, Honeybees area, near the Stump Field, and also the Red HQ, I'm pretty sure. And that's that's pretty much it. So now, let's uh, let's go test out the Tide Popper. I heard that it's a blue player strat to go in the Strawberry Field and like grind up Bubble Bloat this way. So I guess we'll do that really quickly, even though that's probably gonna take a while. So while we're in here, I kind of want to see like just what the Tide Popper does. Get a get a little little feel of like how it how it works and all that. Cause like currently it's at 139, and it's been going up somehow. I, I'm not exactly sure how. Uh, it's increasing right now. Is it from the bubbles? Eh, I I think so, maybe. I'm like 99% sure it's because of the bubbles, I think. Yeah, probably. That I think that's a safe bet. So I guess bubbles increase it, which is good. And as the multiplier increases, your tool collector speed increases with it. So right now it's about 1.58 times. And that basically means the more you whack her around, the faster it goes. So you, you slap down quicker, I guess. I'm pretty sure it also does something else though. It, it makes like a, yeah, I, the, the tide thing over here. I, I didn't even see that at first, actually. But like every every what what why am I speaking a weird accent? Every American man, every few few swings, like a little little tide pool thing comes out, and it's like a like a wave. Here, let's get a, let's get a better look at it. Get get out of here. Like it's yeah, look look, look at that. It's it like swarms swarms over there, and it goes like that. Super super cool. And I guess it just like collects pollen or something. I don't know if it like boosts like bees or frogs that like it touches. It seems to. Oh, it's doing. Wait, it's, I'm doing something. Wait a minute. What? What is it doing? I'm like, it, I'm. I'm making big waves, man. I. I be really doing the waves. Why though? Why? Explain. What? Why? Huh? Is there a reasoning why it's growing? I. I don't know. And it's. It stopped. What happened? I got. I got tide blessing. More blue pollen, honey from tokens, convert rate at hive, pollen from bees, pollen from tools. Why though? Why? Why did it do that? Explain. I'm confused now. I don't know what to think. Do you have to build that up as well? It looks like it's only like one percent. Here, I almost forgot. Let's use a let's use a nectar tester first of all, and let's also slap down the the planters over here. Digbug planter, basic one, and also uh, test test planter. There we go. I already have a planter in this field, bro. I I literally heard like on it say you should use like all of them. Can't you use multiple ones? Isn't that like something that you can do, right? Am I stupid? All right, let's let's put down the debug planter since this is kind of a newer one. I'm sure what it gives you is like maybe bitter berries, if I were to guess. I don't know, man. Okay, it's doing like that big tide thing again. I I don't know how it happens though. It just like happens randomly, I guess, or from from something, man. I I don't even know. Okay, wait, what what is this? Um, it's going tidal surge collector. Wait, what? Is it is it cause did I like fill up? Oh, wait a minute. Is it cause I filled up the tide power? So if I collect enough bubbles, it like caps out at some random number, maybe like either 400 or 500, I can't really tell. But then it starts draining and then that's when like the, the tide or waves start becoming like super massive. And then as it happens, your collector speed starts to drain as well. And then it goes back to zero and then it refreshes and now you have to build it up again. I, I, I think that's how it works. I think I'm slowly wrapping my brain around it. I'm pretty sure. Here, let's keep track of like what the number is at. So currently it's at almost 300. It passed it, so maybe the max is uh, 400 for I may maybe like 1.7 or two times collector speed. Maybe I can definitely notice a very very large amount of whackering in the fields for sure. Um, all right, it's almost at 400. Wait a minute, and it's it's going more than okay. So maybe 500 then. Come on, get up to 500. You're almost there. So close. Almost two times collector speed. And then... Oh, I am right! Here it is! And the, the big waves! The big fat waves! And then as that happens... So you get a massive, like, collector tool speed, like, boost. But then it slowly starts draining to the original 500 times of, like, the, the tide power. And then it starts to drain past that until it's back to zero. And then once it's fully gone, that's when you start building up the tide power again. Alright, alright. I, I understand now. I get it, I get it, I get it. So I guess to, like, summarize what blue does in total, it's just, like, a lot of building up right now. That, that's what I've seen. Kind of like a wave, I guess. That, that does make sense. But you gotta build up bubble blow, you gotta build up the tide power, everything in, like, a blue hive 
you got to build up over time, which to me is kind of annoying because I like just jumping straight into things like right away. Because for example, for white, you can just basically go straight into field, start activating boosts, and then you just start popping off and you don't have to do any like before preparations. And that's probably even the case for red as well. But blue, you gotta, you gotta spend a, quite a while in fields just getting up that bubble blow. Like this thing is not even like halfway yet. And I've been here for like maybe over five minutes. So that, that kind of sucks for you blue players. I'm sure if you do get the boost up high, they probably start to do a lot. But like, I don't know, for, for me, like someone who doesn't really have a lot of time on their hands, I know that sounds stupid because like I'm a YouTuber, I literally just play video games, but like it still takes a lot of time. I gotta spend the majority of my time editing and like making thumbnails and just like focusing on like the actual YouTube side, not just recording, all right? Recording is probably like maybe a fraction of like the entire video process. But like I don't I don't have like hours to build up bubble bloat if I want to make a video man or if I want to do a boost. I I just gotta go straight into the game, start recording the video, do the boost in maybe like 30 minutes, and then book it out of there and start editing. Like that's literally how it feels sometimes. Like you got no time. Especially since Beastmas is like so close, man. Oh my god. The update is nearing so close, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get out these like endgame equip videos before the actual update comes out. That's how quick it's coming. All this is happening too quickly, man. Which is why I'm trying to make these videos a lot more shorter. But I think we pretty much checked out like what the Tide Popper does like in its entirety. Of course, I probably could have gone above and beyond and you know continued to build up all this like bubble bloat and stuff and tide power to do like a massive boost in like an actual blue field. But like I I can't be bothered, man. That just takes too much time. I'm mad. I, I don't want to. Currently, we got almost like three times bubble bloat, which is cool and all, but like, it's gonna take so long to get that thing to max. Tide Blessing is like only at like 0 0.02 right now. The max is probably maybe like 0.2 or maybe like 0.1. I don't know. But like, it takes, it takes forever, man, to build up that stuff. You know, let's just do one last, one last uh, Tide Surge or whatever, and that, I think that's it. So oh, look at look at the big old big old pretty waves. Oh, that is that is so cool. Look at it going all over the place. Uh, that is that is awesome. I will give it some credit. I do like the look of the waves. They're they're pretty cool. And you know I'm sure you get a lot of collection like when it like goes around and all that. Since you know you get a lot more collector speed and the wave just like collects a bunch of pollen forward. I can definitely see blue being like very good in the actual update. Would I switch to blue though? If you're dedicated to the grind, then sure go ahead. As long as you're willing to like wait a pretty long time building up all your boosts and all that then i guess that's okay but like if you're on a time crunch for like pretty much everything you're not gonna have time to build up that bubble bloat my friend no siree this is the test realm and i'm still struggling how do you think it's gonna be in the main game it's gonna be like 10 times worse when everything isn't handed to you on a silver platter so yeah i don't know man i have i have mixed feelings about blue i can definitely see its power right now and like how good it can be but like you just got to be very dedicated if you actually want to like become blue. That's that's pretty much it. It just requires a lot and a lot of dedication, which I do not have a lot of. So yeah, I just really want to test out though. What is my capacity in a blue field? Also, what is this? Why is why is this here? Why is there just a big old big old platform? Ah, uh, alrighty then. You know, I just realized this probably would have been easier if I actually did this like with an actual blue player, cause. I know a lot of blue has to do with like actually working with somebody, so I, I guess I probably should have thought that out first. So I have a uh, hundred thousands, millions, almost a billion capacity. That is my god, dude. Can we get it over a billion? Let's see. Go, 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 go. We're so close. We're so close. Uh, go, 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 go. We did it. Let's go. Wait, no, it drained again. No, no, go back up. No! Oh, I, I had it for a second, man. Oh my god, okay. Why did it go down? What caused it to go down? Why it be draining? Is it because the bubble blow is like slowly draining by like one second? Every, every sec- Okay, that didn't make any sense. But like, it's, it's slowly draining, but there's like an entire hour to it. Is it because of that? I, I don't even know, man. Nothing else has like blue field capacity, right? That would go down quickly. Doesn't, doesn't look like it. I don't know, man. I think that's gonna be it for today, though. This was, this was pretty, pretty cool. Pretty sure I checked out everything for the Tide Popper, you know? I think this was a pretty good showcase of what the Tide Popper does. But yeah, I think this might actually be the final test run video before the actual main game updates. 
which means I won't get a break from Bee Swarm. I know that sounds kind of weird coming from me, like, I know I'm happy, I, I am happy that the game is updating, and there's new stuff, and I have new videos to make about the game, but it's happening too quickly! I wanted at least maybe, like, a week to take a break from, like, the Test Realm stuff, and just, like, Bee Swarm in general to work on other videos, and then Beastmas comes out, and I can work on more Beastmas stuff, and also some other videos here and there, but no, I think I'm gonna have to go straight from Test Realm to just the main game Beastmas, and I, I don't know how to feel about that, man. I'm on a massive time crunch, dude. I still got, like, three videos to edit, including this one. And Beastmas is coming out in, like, ten days. Plus, I want to upload maybe, like, one or two other videos in between, you know? Just so it's not all Beastwarm. I made a mistake last Beastmas and literally only uploaded Beastwarm for, like, a month or two straight. And, well, that just... That just kind of screwed me over when I started making regular content again because nobody watched it because, like, it's it's not Bee Swarm. So I, I gotta be very careful. I definitely will not progress as fast this time compared to last Beesmas, so just keep that in mind. I'm sure Thanks and SE Mittens are gonna get out their videos a thousand times quicker than me, but, like, bear with me, alright? I, I like making other content. Don't get me wrong, I love Bee Swarm. It's probably one of my favorite games, like, just in general and also just on Roblox. But, like, I, I like taking a break here and there, you know? I, it just can't all be bees. I don't want to have bees on demand for my entire life, man. Because then I'll become Turbo. Anyway, though, I'm a head out, fellas. Thank you for watching. Smash like, subscribe, notifications. Do it, or else I will, I will literally drown you in the waves, alright? So beware. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time in B-Swarm when, uh, Beastmas comes out in the actual main game and the update officially comes out and we can check out all the cool little things added. You are very close. But, uh, yeah, anyways, fellas, thank you for watching. Bye-bye, gamers.